Jay Mack from Syracuse, New York. Man, came all the way out to see my Colorado Buffs. Again. What Thank channel you. do you watch that brought you out here? The pregame show. <laughs> Never watched the college game till last season when Coach Prime came to Colorado. And I am in Colorado <laughs> at Folsom Field. I am the Colorado Buffalo's auntie <laughs> from Texas. Sweet treat. <laughs> hey, I, I've been following the pregame show. It's all about Let's go Buffs. Away from Texas. Yes, sir. Watch you every single day. Nobody lays it down like Uncle Neely and the pregame show. Uncle Neely, the pregame show behind the scenes of everything. And why does he get that kind of access? Why does he get that kind of access? Because trust is involved. You would never get the kind of access you desire unless there's trust and relationship. Trying to put your phone How y'all doing? What's up, Coach? Uh, just your review of the film from uh, last week. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, just taking a look at it, it, it kind of looked the same as it did live. Uh, guys were out there making plays. Uh, obviously, Travis Hunter is an exceptional talent. And then uh, he had a great game along with Jimmy Horn. It did exactly what I expected him to do show up on game day and kind of put in the work on game day as he's been putting in practice all week. So it was a good, it was a good output by those guys. What's the decision making, uh, what's the decision making behind lining up five wide, five wide receivers and four wide receivers and one tight end? Well, I got eight wide receivers in the room that can play, so we're trying to get everybody on the field, but it also put the defense in the stretch. It stretches the defense, it gives a difficulty. Um, there, there's not enough guys out there to defend all five guys, so we just want a game plan for trying to get more opportunities for our guys to make plays in space. Just creating space. What's it been like to, to coach Jimmy Horn you know, on the field and off the field? It's been a pleasure. I mean, Jimmy comes to work every day with the mindset of a pro. Um, that's the only thing he knows. He gives us his best effort on every day. And so it's, it's been joyful to coach him on the field, but off the field, he's a, he's a great kid. He's a very joyful um, pleasure to be around. You know, you come to work every day. Sometimes you don't like who you work with. You just got to tolerate him, but he's a pleasure to work with. So it's been great. When you see players like Travis Hunter making those like amazing like amazing catches. Do you still like have like the details like the, 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 the things that you want to really work on when it comes to that team as well when it comes to that? No, I want to keep him healthy. <laughs> <laughs> just get him to the next game. Yeah. Uh, I think the things that he does is obviously it ain't me. It ain't coaching. Yeah. I mean it's it's a, it's a God given gift. It's a talent. And so he goes out there and he gives us this, his best gift and best talent every week. And so you just want to keep him healthy and keep him in the game. Um, so I wanted to talk about, you know, going into Nebraska. Uh, obviously, last season, the Buffs had a losing record on the road, 4-2. Uh, You're playing, you know, away from Folsom Field. You know, Nebraska game last year, I was there. Insane energy on the field for the Buffs, especially student section. Obviously, Memorial Stadium and their fans are going to be loud. They're going to be booing. They're going to be, you know, bringing all that energy for their team. How did Buffs overcome you know, that away disadvantage. Embrace it. I mean, that's the only thing you can do as a player. I mean, I'm speaking from a former player myself, you embrace that. You go into that situation, anticipate the crowd noise, anticipate the heckling. And obviously, if, if it, you know, the thing that I'm preaching to my guys when I play the game, it's an opportunity for me to get 100,000 new fans. So I'm gonna embrace it. Thank you. Uh, and building up that, it seems like you guys have embraced this Nebraska rivalry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a rivalry. It's something that we've all come in here and we've kind of inherited it coming into this program. It's just a way of life around here, so we're looking forward to it. Um, what have you seen from LeJounte and his work ethic and his product on the field? Again, LeJounte, from my first arrival when I first got here in January, he showed nothing but a pro mindset. I mean, that's just LeJounte. He approaches everything as a professional. The same as the rest of the guys in the room. It's obviously the days are counting down for them to be a part of this program. So every day he's approaching as a professional. And so that's been a joy to watch. Been a joy to coach. You know, he's someone that obviously comes to work and play all four positions and is very dedicated to what he needs to do in order to be successful for us. Coach, uh, every morning in the team meetings, you make your way not just down the receiver role, but the running backs. Anybody you can touch and pull, why is that important? to use the coach to have that personal contact. It's not about football. You know, it's just about a personal personal approach, just getting to know all the guys in the room, letting the guys in the room get to know me because I'm, like I said, I try to touch everyone because I don't coach everybody, but I am a coach on the staff. So it's just a, just to kind of break the ice, just kind of let them know this is not about football. It's about life and getting them comfortable to start the day in that type of environment.
been the most impressive thing you've seen from Jalen Miller since his arrival here? The fact that he's playing as a true freshman. <laughs> I think that's the most impressive thing. I mean, there's not a lot of freshmen playing across the country. And his attitude and work ethic and his success of where he's been in high school, he came in as a winner. And he's, you know, obviously that's starting to ooze out here in our meeting room and the things that he's capable of doing on the field, his talent is getting him some playing time. So just the fact that he's actually playing as a freshman has been the most impressive thing to me. What have you seen from Nebraska's defense? Uh, shoot, they're big. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a b lot of big guys up front, secondary guys. What I've seen mostly is a lot of experience back there. Those guys played a lot of football together. So we're excited about going up there and just kind of testing what they've been able to do over the past week against what we've been able to do over the past week. So we're excited for that opportunity. Good question, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Uh, last, last week, Coach, um, the offense seemed to generate a lot for explosive plays. Um, do you figure that Nebraska could try to slow the game down, and how are you all preparing to adjust yeah, to I'm that? Yeah, I'm sure they got a game plan to try to slow that down. Um, you know, but our game plan won't change. You know, explosive plays is part of what we do offensively. It's part of what we want to do. To a defense, so I'm sure they got a plan, but we're going to stick to our plan as well. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. 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 So, Jimmy, um, big game for you coming in on NDSU. You gained over 50,000 followers. How did that feel? Do you feel like you've been slept on because of that? Or like, is that just like that ownership coming into that too as well? well I really ain't care about the followers. I just keep playing. You know, that's what come with the game. It's a lot of attention that come with this stuff. Just keep my head up and just keep going. Don't worry about that stuff because that ain't what got me up. Adam. Coach was talking about how you guys are eight deep in that room. How much do you guys push each other in that receiver's room on a daily basis? We push each other every day. Every day it's a competition, you know. We got a lot of receiver ones in our room, but we all here on the same goal, and that's the win. You know? So it ain't no type of selfishness going on. Everybody on the same plan, everybody on the same goal. It's just a lot of competition at the end of the day. Thank you. How do you feel like the team is really embracing this rivalry? I know last year, it's kind of its personal was floating around. What does it feel like this year going into this game? This year, it feels it feel real good. You know, I can tell that our team taking this rivalry real serious. You know, a lot of them boys, they just they just fresh here. And they just, they just it's a lot of history behind it. And we just got to rep the CU logo that we played for. It don't matter like who we playing against. And I know. Nebraska is a bit rivalry team, and like we're not about to play with them. So, cause I know they're not coming to play with us. So that's really the whole team mindset, for real. So you obviously had an incredible game uh, this last week. Uh, what are you doing outside of practice right now to keep that performance going into Nebraska? Uh, outside of practice, you know, watch film. That's that's a bit piece, that's a bit piece of the game. Watch a lot of film. You know, watch film with my teammates, with quarterback too. Uh, and then just like do off on the field, off the field work stuff, you know, to get good work in, so I can keep stacking on top of that game. I ain't satisfied. Jimmy, Nebraska head coach Matt Rule said this week that you're a difference maker. You dominate the middle of the field. What do you what do you make of those comments? And what does it kind of take for you to navigate that part of the field as well as you did last week? I just gotta I just gotta go out there and play. Just be go out there and do me, you know. It's a full, full rotation that go on, you know. Just got to go out there and play. You never know who, who, who might take off the next game. So just got to always be ready when the moment sees itself. Jimmy, it's your second time now in this rivalry. Does it feel more like a big-time rivalry game now that you've kind of been through it once? Yeah, it do. It's a, it, I ain't gonna lie. I done watched a couple of the interviews and stuff. So, you know, like I'm on, I'm on that time. And, like my receiver room, we on that time. And, we know what time it is for real. Brian? Hey, Jimmy, uh, what did last week mean to you uh, and, and your father? Did you have a chance to talk to him about it and uh, just kind of talk about the game a little bit? Yeah, I talked to him. I, I was able to talk to him. The that he just got shipped off. He about to get shipped off to the prison, you know. So that was the last time I talked to him before. So, you know, I just got to go even harder, you feel me? And it, it just felt good to talk to him, you know. That, that, that just pushes me even more. It's a lot of adversity that go on through life. You gotta keep driving and pushing through it. Like that game now, that was, that's a career high game for me. And I ain't gonna let that get to me. Just keep going, keep grinding. I'm hungry. So, so yeah. And with that, what does it mean to you to have Coach Prime behind you so much in this regard? Like just having his arm around you through all this. That means a lot, man. You know, just just another good father figure. You feel me? I ain't gonna say good, a great father figure. You know? So like that's 
a lot. That's a lot to me. I mean, a lot to me just to have him, have my back, and then that, then the people around too, like the coaching staff and stuff like that. Jimmy, you obviously had a big week one game last year. What do you feel like allows you to be so ready to contribute right away and, and early in the season? Uh, I play with a chip on my shoulder. You know, I, I just play with a chip on my shoulder. So that's really what drives me. Like I know I don't do in this game, but I love this game. I do it for me and I do it for the ones I love. Okay. Jimmy, uh, Zay, you know, making the Cardinals roster and all that. What's it been like just watching him ball out in preseason and make the team? Man, that's been, it's been amazing. Just to see the grind that my butt put in, work that he put in, and get where he at. Like, say, say is that guy, for real. Like, just to see him in that position that he had, like, I love to see that. Like, if I call you my brother, like, I really love to see you win, for real. Last question, Neely. Uh, Jimmy, I, I talked to Coach Jason Phillips earlier about in the mornings when he goes down the road and hugs each one of you guys. What does it feel like for you to have a coach who takes that personal moment when y'all get the day started? That mean a lot, you know, because they feel that I'm a god man. So we had a good, we had a good conversation, you know. Tough love, that's the type of coach he is. Like he don't never look for the good in your game. He go always find something that ain't that you think that you're doing good. That he go, he go, he go bring it down to the littlest piece, and he go keep it real with you. That's why every time you come through there, give you a handshake every morning. It just, it's just a good feeling to have a coach like that. That's and, coaching too. And have you found that the room listens to him, knowing that he was an All-American and led the nation to receive and been there, done that kind of thing? Yeah, everybody in there listens to him. You know, he go keep it blood raw, real with you. That's just how he is. That's the type of coach he is, and I respect that. Thank you. That's a wrap, folks. Most definitely appreciate. It. Hey, Justin, uh, Brian Howell for Bowl of the Day of the Camera. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, just give me your impressions of your first game here at Colorado after you know being in another school for so long. And, and, uh, and then the second part of that, just can you assess how you felt the offensive line did in that first game? I think for five men that were brought together in the matter of time that we were, um, the continuity and the chemistry, the, how fast it's flowing and connecting is pretty impressive. I think Coach Phil and Coach Gunner and Coach G are pushing to limit every day and making sure we're um, A1 on our calls. and know who's thinking what. So it's just, it's just flowing good. And I think Coach Prime really really makes practice feel like a game. So compared to my other school, you know, you kind of had to do extra conditioning and stuff. But Coach Prime, the intensity of the practice is, it kind of makes the game more easier conditioning-wise. But offensive line, I think that was a good game to light the spark for the season, for sure. And just you personally, what was it like playing in the uniform? Oh, I mean, it was beautiful. I think those are the most nicest uniforms i ever put on in my life. <laughs> but uh, it felt like. A blanket almost, but it was cool seeing the crowd sold out and everyone just supporting. It's a real atmosphere being here. Hey, Justin, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. You obviously lined up uh, next to Jordan Seaton throughout the game. Uh, what did you make of his first collegiate game, and how do you feel like he handled things throughout the game? Oh, that's my little brother. Um, I think he's learning fast. Um, he's very mature for his age. I feel like it's it's fun playing next to him. Uh, he's It's really exciting, so it's cool. I think the combinations we have are so unique. And I think that helps um, us play effectively as a unit, for sure. Hi, Justin. Ryan Skulls from Ralphie Report. Last season against Nebraska, Coach Prime's message to the team was, it's personal. It's personal. Is that carrying over to this year? Are you feeling that same way heading into a big rivalry game on the road? Yes, sir. I feel like every week is personal, especially this one. I mean, it's a bigger game because it's rivalry week. But we want to attack every game like it's rivalry week. Um, Nebraska out here is going to be sold out and all these things, but that stuff doesn't phase us. Um, we practice hard. We have the, the crowd noise going. So I think Coach Brown is getting us prepared for the for a great game this this upcoming Saturday. What's up, Justin? Your former teammates played against them <laughs> last week. You able to uh, get any insight from them about what that game was like? Uh, it's a whole new team over there now. I think I only know one person um, on that team, but uh, I watched them. It was kind of crazy. It's like my old team playing them, but. Uh, I can I can only say so much about that, but it was cool. I, I learned a lot. Uh, it's just crazy how the works out. My last school I was at, and then now I'm playing them, so it's kind of funny. But but I, I picked up some things. I texted a few of the guys. They gave me some insight and some of the D linemen and stuff. So it's good. Justin, without getting too specific, watching the game last week, and they got a couple of really big dudes on that defensive line. What have you seen out of Nebraska's defensive front? Uh, I gave it to them. I think they're. Their game on both sides of the ball is really their trenches, probably O-line and D-line for them. 
Uh, we know their personnel. We're studying them pretty hard. So I'm not really worried about the size. As long as we rely on our technique and be aggressive, well, I think we should be good. Justin, last week you guys were able to pass the ball a lot, and that passing game was super efficient. Do you see anything changing this week, and do you guys plan on running the football and really using that offensive line? Oh, yes, sir. I feel like we can do both. We can pass and run. I feel like the, the play calls and system we have this year really opens us up to do that. Um, of course, we want Shador to throw for 10,000, and we want our running backs to get you know, a 1,000-yard rusher. So I think as, we, as the day, games go on, it's going to get easier and easier, and uh, I'm excited for this week. KUSA. As an offensive lineman, crowd noise can be a factor. They're calling it maybe the most rabid crowd in a couple decades at Memorial Stadium next on Saturday. How do you prepare for that? I think this is what everyone wants to play college football for, to play in the biggest games, the biggest stages, the most fans, uh, the most people watching on TV. I think it's just a, the platform that we all want to be on. Um, I think the fans is you can use it to your advantage. You know what I mean? You can silence the crowd when you're running down, the, down their throats and scoring. That's what we want to do. Um, but the, the fans, we're not, we're not worried about it. I think it'll just uh, hype us up a little bit more. I think it's, it'll be good for sure. Hey, Justin, Pat Graham, Associated Press. Um, last couple of years, they've kind of overhauled the <laughs> offensive line to kind of better protect your doer and, and jumpstart the offense. I guess, how do you, we talk about you know, cohesion and, and building that trust with each other. How, how do you go about that? Maybe are, are there's some ways you do off the field that you guys become a better unit? Oh, yes, sir. I think it's one, they got a great group of guys, including myself. Um, we're all just real people, and I think the chemistry is real. It's not forced or fake. So I think that's why it's connecting so quick. I think us hanging, off, hanging out outside the field helps as well, and knowing who's, who likes what and what gets who going, so stuff like that. But I think, like you said, uh, the chemistry and doing things off the field kind of helps as well, for sure. Nick Edwards, you sports report. When you go back and watch the film against North Dakota State, you look at the line. Are there any elements of improvement, and what do you feel like you really did well in in your game? I feel like you can always improve. I mean, for the first game as a unit, um, I think it was like a couple of pressures I heard and one sack. The goal is to have no sack a game. Uh, compared to last year, I know it's like night and day, I've heard, compared to the old lines, but we're not worried about last year. We're worried about this year and uh, setting the tone. So I feel like even us having one sack was – kind of punch to the chin a little bit. So including myself, just pr studying our plays, practicing our technique, um, working on pass pro and finishing in the run game is what help us all out, including myself. Hey, Justin. Um, getting the opportunity to play in these huge games against Nebraska, just how, how much of a factor did that play in your decision to commit to Colorado? <laughs> uh, there was a lot of factors that played in coming to Colorado. I mean, who wouldn't be here? Who wouldn't want to be here? I mean, the NFL experience, um, the how real they keep it, how, how much they want you to be a better player, on the field and a better man off the field and just being on a big stage and you know as offense line we normally don't get any hype or no one really knows about you which is which is a good thing until you get a penalty and then everyone knows about you <laughs> you know what i mean but i mean being here is just a great fit shador is a great guy i think as soon as i hit the the first day at the portal he called me like five times i didn't even know it was him calling me so it's just just the camaraderie we have it's it's a great feeling to be here so i'm excited mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you know, all that doesn't matter. You got to do our job for myself. So it's, it's fun to do that, but the real, the real stuff on the field. That's where I work now. Two. How I feel. That's the answer. Yeah, yeah last year, seven to six. This year, 45 to three, everybody talked about, you know. You gotta think, seven, six last year? And I was thinking about this too, this week. Like, the, the reason why the, the score was so close, because I created turnovers, I had turnovers. I fumbled twice. Uh, but the numbers, 220 something, 240 something last year. And my first year, so shit. Yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do my second year? Yeah, with a full off season. With a full off season. So it's like this year we, we we came in this year more focused and more like realizing like we're not supposed to be here. We chose to come here for real. Yeah. And, and I feel like everybody on this team, offensively, defensively, all the receivers, they understand that. So whenever you knowing that going to a game, there's nothing. People get intimidated by playing a team name. You ain't playing, fam. You you playing their new players. That's exactly what it is. Two out. Two out. 
Where y'all from? We up from Miami, Florida. Miami. Yeah. All right, Miami. All the Appreciate y'all yeah. coming, man. Hey, man, we love what you guys are doing, man. We want to support you in every way. Appreciate you, family. And, and we're recruiting at home. Everything we see at home, we bring it this way. My That's man. Thank you. You got to believe. Dude, we've been believing since day one, That's dog. Remember back in Jackson State? We've been believing with you in the pregame show.